Hey, this is Tyler Marsh, Applied Pro Specialist with AHW. Today we're hanging out in Tolono, Illinois. We're going to do a walk around with the all new Hagee 2022 STS 12 sprayer. During today's walk around, we're going to touch on three key features, including the upgraded operator comfort, its new technology, and its continued integration into the John Deere platform. Let's go take a look. Starting at the front of the machine, we're maintaining Hagee's traditional front mount boom, available from 90 to 132 foot. On this machine, we have the 120 foot hybrid boom that was redesigned and introduced in 2018, but now available with John Deere's Exact Apply Nozzle Control System and product recirculation. The John Deere Exact Apply Nozzle Control System gives us independent nozzle control, turn compensation, and constant field pressure no matter what speed we're running at. Product recirculation doesn't require us to carry the extra gallons needed to prime the boom, thus saving time and product at the start of each job. Along with the Hagee front boom, we still offer the optional rear boom for those tall corn applications. But now when you get exact apply on the front boom, you're also going to get exact apply on the rear boom, giving us the same control as the front boom, but keeping that product off of your machine. Moving down the boom, you'll see our NORAC sensor. Hege continues to offer the NORAC 5 sensor boom leveling system with active wing roll. In addition to the other features that were brought over when this boom was reintroduced, we still maintain the ability to take this boom off and put on a nitrogen toolbar, keeping that versatility for multi-season use. Moving under the machine, you can see that Hege keeps their 74 inch ground clearance in addition to their underframe shields for tall crop applications. Hege continues their four wheel steering on every machine and continues to offer the hydraulic tread adjust option. But new to the machine is the suspension. Hege has moved the suspension components from at the top of the wheel leg to down into the wheel. This new suspension placement is going to allow the operator a better view, leaving less of obstruction for him in the cab and going to give him a better ride. Under the suspension, we have the John Deere Rosense feelers. This system detects the crop and helps guide the machine down the rows. Moving to the back of the machine, we continue the John Deere integration with the John Deere 9 liter engine. This engine gives us 300 horsepower and a lot of commonality and common components with the rest of your John Deere equipment. Designed around the John Deere engine, Hagee has an all-new hood. On this hood, we have easier access for maintenance, as well as the ability to draw air from the top, reducing debris on the intake screens, similar to what the reversing fan has been doing for years. Newly paired with the John Deere engine is the John Deere Command Drive Transmission. This proven transmission is the same transmission you see on the John Deere R-Series sprayers. In addition to its durability, this transmission gives us real-time traction control, programmable speed ranges, and scroll wheel speed selection. This powertrain is going to give us the dependable John Deere experience on a Hege machine. In order to reduce daily maintenance time, we have added the aftermarket Lincoln Auto Luber system. This system has lines running to each grease zerk on the machine, ensuring that each zerk is greased when needed. Moving around to the solution system, you'll see that we have a 1200 gallon stainless steel tank on the STS-12. On the STS-16, you'll have a 1600 gallon tank, and on the all new STS-20, you'll have a 2000 gallon tank. All three models will have the power spray system. The power spray system consists of many features, including predictive pump control that anticipates flow change to maintain rate. We also have our in-tank tank level indicator that allows us to read tank volume from in the cab and at our digital display and keypad. The keypad allows us to do several machine functions from machine rinsing to machine loading. Speaking of loading, right here we have the side fill station, standard on all machines. In addition to the side fill, you can add a front fill. Both fills allow for a load to be pushed on with the tender truck. If you'd like to use the machine to load, you can also add the additional load pump. Let's go take a look at the new cab. Sitting in the cab, it might look familiar. That's because Heggie brought this cab over from the John Deere X9 Combine. The cab comes with two packages, a select package and the ultimate package that we see here. 
Some of the features of the Ultimate package include the leather seat with heating, cooling, and massaging, the refrigerator, the footrests, the automatic door cinching, and the keyless entry. Coupled with the new cab, we have the John Deere command arm. This is the same command arm that you'll see in the John Deere R-Series sprayers. So if you've been in a John Deere sprayer, operation here is nearly the same, with all of your boom functions still located on the hydro handle, and other machine functions located on the armrest. We have also brought over a lot of John Deere Precision Ag technologies, including the John Deere Gen 4 4600 Command Center. Coupled with the Gen 4 Command Center, we have the John Deere Spray SAR system. This is the same spray system as the R-Series sprayers. So now, we run one system on John Deere and Hege sprayers. In addition to the new cab, we have the all-new corner post display. This display takes Hege's old armrest display and John Deere's corner post display and integrates them into one screen. On the left here, you'll see the John Deere corner post display that will show us engine RPMs, speed settings, fuel and depth, and temperatures. On the right, we'll see the old Hege armrest display that will show us tread adjust, speed settings, fan settings, front end attachment settings, and everything else we were used to with the Hege armrest display. In addition to that, we're going to have our reversing camera auto populate on the same screen for a bigger view than what we were previously used to. Above the corner post display, we have the all new touchscreen radio. This is the same radio you're going to see in the X9 Combine cab. This radio is going to allow us to control our radio functions and pair our phone for hands-free calling or Bluetooth music. Heggy has also brought over John Deere's JD-Link telematics platform. This platform has several features including remote display access, allowing us to remotely log in and support the operator and troubleshoot issues. It also has JD-Link alert monitoring. When the machine has a trouble code, it will not only show the code on the display, it will also send the code to the operations center and the service department, allowing us to remotely diagnose issues before dispatching a technician. In addition to JD-Link alerts, John Deere has expert alerts. Expert alerts uses JD-Link alerts and real-time machine information to predict future issues, allowing us to fix the issue before it happens. Again, this is Tyler, Applied Pro Specialist with AHW. Thanks for hanging out with us during this walk around. If you'd like to learn more about this machine or the rest of the Heggy lineup, come visit us at one of our many locations or see us online at ahwllc.com. And remember, AHW is always here when there's work to be done. <laughs>